For even more rain this morning as the city deals with this week's unprecedented flooding. NBC's Janet Chamlian is in Spring, Texas. That's just north of Houston. Janet, good morning. Savannah, good morning to you. Cypress Creek has overflowed into this neighborhood and dozens of homes around here. And now just what they don't need. The forecast is calling for another drenching later today. This morning, a new danger in flood-weary Houston. Cypress Creek bulging beyond its banks, spilling into hundreds of homes. And we thought we were okay. Last night we went to bed and the water had receded and there was no rain. And then we wake up and it's at our front door. And then it was inside. The Coons family packed up and left the only way they could, on an airboat, manned by sheriff's deputies maneuvering through neighborhoods that looked like this. We joined them as they answered call after call. It's nonstop life saving work. For some, the reality of leaving home hitting hard. We're just kind of stuck. I don't really know what to do. Just kind of going through the motions right now. Another rescue at a senior center. Dozens of elderly in wheelchairs taken to drier ground. It's an awesome amount of water, more than I've seen in my career. More than a thousand homes have flooded, five billion dollars in damage, and this heartbreaking statistic. At least seven people died in the floods, including Sunita Singh, a mom of three who became trapped in her car. She called me. Uh, she told me she's in trouble. There's water all around. For the survivors, lives uprooted with no idea when they'll return. What now for your family? Um, honestly, I don't know. For many across Houston, the floodwaters have receded, but Cypress Creek has yet to crest with more rain in the forecast. Yeah, a lot of roads uh, uh, opened yesterday as Houston continued to dry out, but